Welcome everyone, it is the first episode from the Evergreen SMP server that I have just joined and I'm so excited to be here with you and show you around. You are taking a, a look here at my house, my little starter home. <laughs> it's a little cozy and a little jungly, but uh, whatever. It is what it is. Let's get out of this view here. Whoops. All right. So this is just a little starter home that we started here. And the, uh, the server's been going for about a couple of weeks now, so uh, we kind of have a lot of things going on here. This is a, a view of spawn, which we will... Uh, oops, don't step in thorns, Jade. Just a little look around my house from the outside. It's got a really cool little, uh, little uh, feel to it. i got a custom tree right here beside the house. got another one on the other side here, but this is how it looks. I'm really, really happy with the detail that I ended up getting uh, out of this house. Those of you that have been following on my single player, uh, I have a similar design on there, but far less detailed than this. So I'm really excited about this, and especially this tree. Uh, over here we have another person's house. It's Lambert's. I don't know everybody's houses, but uh, the one right next to ours, <laughs> I certainly know. And this is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful build wonderful detail it's called lambert's manor way up high on the hill and oh oh it's nighttime sleepy sleepy gotta get back do a quick sleep here this is my little my little puppy don't have a name for him yet but he's always excited when i show up <laughs> do a little quick sleepy all right let's get going new day we have some new neighbors that just joined the server a couple of days ago now, and they're they're located down the down the way here, down at the end of the river. There's another one over right behind, right behind those trees over there, which is super nice. So I'll take you for a little walk around spawn here. It's quite open this whole area here still. We're still figuring out what to do with this. It's a, a fountain that I ended up building for the community a few days ago. It's really nice. It's a Design based on what Grian had made a few a few years ago on YouTube ended up making something similar to that and uh, oh, that Lambert's house is just incredible with all the all the foliage and and uh, uh, Fences as well. This is a, a build that we were working on last night. This is going to be uh, The new town hall, but I ended up having to quit. It just uh, got too tired and frustrated with the roof it's a uh, work in progress, let's put it that way, but neat design all the same. And uh, yeah, we're just going to head through spawn here. So we actually have it set up in districts. So we have a residential district, a shopping district, farming district, and so on. And because this is a pretty new server, um, we don't have everything here necessarily so populated, but we have a, a rough outline for the farming area. We can get some villagers here. We have a villager breeder down below. We have a uh, basic iron farm there just to get us going. Got some food items. We got a community mine over there and so on. Then over beyond this way with this amazingly epic build, this tree is just incredible. If we go on the other side of it, it's our little shopping district that we've got. So we'll take a quick run through here. This is a beautiful area. So we just kind of hop through here. I heard a cat. Oh. Well, you can jump, Jade. It is possible. <laughs> so yeah, this is my uh, my new SMP server that I'm Im involved in. Um, I really, really was attracted to this community because of how it portrayed itself. It took uh, the owner has taken a lot of time to uh, pay attention to detail and uh, branding of the entire community. He's got really nice goals that he wants to be able to see achieved. So. This is something that I'm, I'm really excited to be a part of. And uh, as before I continue that, I'll just show you these different shops that we've got here in the shopping district. Really beautiful stuff. You can more or less guess what a lot of these are. Slime. Nether. Just beautiful stuff. Beautiful shops. Bookshop. Absolutely stunning. There's lots of really great stuff here. Absolutely stunning. Ooh. 
Oh, gee, they're all saying hi. What a friendly place this is. Even the animals are saying hi. This is beautiful. So we just keep on walking through here. This build was finished just a couple of days ago as well, and this is a concrete and glass shop. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful rainbow. Rainbow shaped shop here. You can go inside for all of your concrete and glass needs, which is great. If you want to buy any animals, we've got some animals over here. We've got ooh, somebody working hard. Can't tell who that is. There. Ah, it's boom. There you go. Really, really fantastic little little place where you can buy some animals. And of course, with the latest updates in Minecraft, we can't go without mentioning honey and bees. It's a nice little honey shop here. Some beautiful stuff going on. Hello there. We will just keep on going here. So this is our, our little beginnings here. We're a little humble beginnings as a server. I have to say, you know, it's really hard to go and find a really good server in Minecraft nowadays. And uh, there are several reasons for that. Uh, and what's really important is to be able to find a group of people that are kind of um, committed to a common vision and a common way of playing. And I think that I found that here, which is really, really exciting. It's a, a beautiful place to be. So it's Evergreen F SMP. It's a beautiful place to be. All the people here are super, super nice and very helpful, positive, and really good builders too. At least so far, based on the builds that we've we've made in the spawn town, it's really nice. And now a few of us are, of course, wanting to populate spawn town, so it looks. So it looks nicer, so that when we do come back, we have places to meet, like the town hall over there, and and uh, things to do, nice things to look at, parks and all that kind of thing. So that's a basic, basic tour of the area. It's a gorgeous little place here. We've got some good things going on. So I think today, today we are going to kind of get ourselves set up at our new place and I wanted to show you that because I think that that's really important too to be able to uh, go and kind of plan your own thing of what you're going to do in Minecraft and this is something I've been really struggling with this year uh, the season pardon me um, typically I have played Minecraft in such a way that uh, farms are a big part of what I do and I think everybody knows how to make farms. Some of them, some of them know how to make even bigger farms than, than others. I'm not that kind of guy. I usually make farms that are sufficient enough for myself to supply what I need to be able to continue building. But one of the things that, that I decided as as I started playing Minecraft uh, on this server is that I really want to concentrate on my build quality, paying attention to the details, little details all sorts of different texture um, uh, mixtures and being able to work on, on things that are typically really challenging for me, like these custom trees. It's, uh, and I'm not perfect at it, but this is a goal for me during this year. And that's one of the things, one of the reasons why I wanted to try th to take on this town hall project as well, which is super big and very time consuming, let me tell you. So, that's that. We'll take a little quick look inside of my house here. We are getting to the ladder. Oops, again, is, did I hit that same bush the last time? I mean, seriously. All right. So inside, once I uh, built this, I ended up filling up all of these barrels with different different supplies. They're near empty now because I keep using them on other things. But the one thing that is very consistent, I have no diamonds. No diamonds at all, as I've been paying attention to many, many other things. And that's got to change. And one of the ways that's changed is over at my new place, but we won't head over there until it's nighttime. But over at my new place. Ooh. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, I forgot to show this. this is a little farming area at the back. And little park area, little tiny little beautiful back area to enjoy the sunset as it comes down. All right, yeah, yeah, get out of it, Jay. Smart enough. 
So this is just a little farming area that I started out with. Of course, it's not enough to supply any major food, but it, it, get, it got me started. And then down here is kind of like a, a mine that ends up intersecting with everybody else's mine. Let me tell you, there's not a whole lot down there anymore. Anyway, so I think what we're going to do is head over to the new base area. And I will try to put that into the video right now, a picture of the new base area. And why I chose that particular one, it's another area that's plains. And it's uh, right next to a forest like this where we've got oak and birch wood. And then on the other side is, the other side of the plains is a spruce wood forest. So one of the reasons that I wanted to choose plains this year is, or this season, I keep saying this year. <laughs> oh, no, get me out. Oh, no. One of the reasons that I wanted to do that is to really challenge myself and, and the building that I'll be doing. Uh, planes is, is kind of like how I see it as like a, a blank slate, a completely empty canvas that you can work with. So from a painter's point of view, you don't have to do a whole lot to it. Not because I don't want to, but because I actually can do it. Everything that I want to do, I can do with planes. I don't have to destroy too much, but I can build a lot. And that is one thing that I really wanted to do. But the one issue that I have been having so far here, I'll be able to see out my window here. One of the issue that I've been having so far this season is trying to figure out what my build style is. Now I've built this house and I'm really proud of this house. The details, the pathways, this custom trees, especially that one. I'm really, really super stoked, happy about the details. I love it, but this isn't really a build style that I would necessarily say I'm passionate about building because I, if I'm honest, I don't have the creativity to come up with different variations of those kind of houses. And I really want to build something decorative, sure, but I want to build something that is functional as well. And that's really important to me. Now, B00, who's one of my favorite builders on the Hermitcraft server, he builds some fantastic builds, really beautiful. But the one thing that I struggle with is that where do you put all your stuff? He, he doesn't tend to build too many farms, or at least industrial-sized farms. He builds these kind of tinier farms to keep them going. And that's cool. That's one, one style and one way to play. I think we can get across there, can't we? Yeah, let's try to take a shortcut. It's probably a dumb idea, but... Um, but that's one thing that... Oh, no, that's not the right way. Ah! <laughs> one of the things that uh, I really want to pay attention to as well is to allow enough room for myself... Go away, zombie. Allow enough room for myself to be able to expand my farms... Uh, too as well so uh, the medieval style is beautiful as it is and all these different houses and yes you can put different elements in each of those houses absolutely but I, I it kind of takes away the, the kind of main storage place storage area and that's one thing that I really wanted to avoid so I'm trying to figure out what my style is I'm not a big fan of modern style either it's, it's really hard, like, um, I kind of have a cross between what you would see, uh, for example, Mumbo Jumbo. Wait a second, I gotta figure out where I'm at. Yeah, I think I gotta go this way. Forget how to get up to my portal. Okay. Alright. Here's to the new home. home. Here's home for me. Brand new area. Huge plains. I've got myself a little starting area. Nothing much. This is a absolutely gorgeous area. Huge spruce forest in the back. Got a little farming starter area here. Nothing fancy. Huge, 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 huge plains. Nice horses there in the background. Lots of flowers beautiful beautiful areas where there's lots of bees as well 
So I plan to be doing stuff with bees this season too. We'll grab our little horsey here. Uh, take this stuff inside. I don't want to. Don't want to scare him. Here we go. Come on, horsey. Uh, let's go. Let's go for a ride. So this is our area. That's where we started out over there. We're just taking a little ride across all these. Things. Watch out for these holes. But there's some. This is this huge. This area is absolutely huge. Which means there's a lot of building space. So we've got that same kind of forest that we do at spawn. Sit down, horse. Same kind of, uh... Oh, hello, bee. Look at that. Aren't they so cute? Even he said, say hi. <laughs> Alright. So it all extends up there, too. Which is really great. But what's interesting is that this plains area also goes off even further to another plains area off to the sign here. All this is separated by a tiny little stream here, or river, I guess you want to call it. Let's see if we can get across real quick here. Should be able to. There we are. And then this section has the same forest as that spawn. Then we have this spruce forest that continues on this side. And the plains that we were just in is over there. That's our starter area. So we went all the way around here and it continues into this little kind of a V-shaped area here. And then it moves out into another section over here. Absolutely gigantic area. There's yet even more planes to build. So um, I think what we're going to be doing is staying here for quite a long time indeed. The, the planes go way, way, way out there. So this is an absolutely gigantic but look at this area it is it is stunning it is a builder's dream area now the question is is what exactly to build here on one hand what an absolutely gorgeous area to build medieval type villages similar to what p-dubs is doing but i don't really feel the whole medieval vibe and that's one of the things that i'm really struggling with i don't Oh, come on, horsey. Come on, come on. There we go. Don't really have a style that would be called Jade Cougar style. This is another challenge for me during this season is to be able to discover what that style is. If one should even have one particular style or whether or not we're just going to run with a style this particular season and we're going to stick with it. I'm going to push this guy back in his hole. Get in there, horsey. Don't kick me. And certainly don't poop on me. I'm gonna get it. Thank you. There we go. So this is this is home, and it's a giant canvas, as you can see. Now you understand perhaps a bit more what I mean by, in my opinion, planes being the best place to be able to build in Minecraft because it's just so incredibly open. You can build what you want around it. You can build an entire forest, totally different than what you would see naturally here. You can build different terrain here. You can build everything in planes. It's absolutely stunning. This is an area I was so excited about. Prior to this, I was actually supposed to be going to a jungle. And I love the jungle. But what I hate about the jungle is clearing out the stinking forest. So I, I really struggled with it because nothing was really vibing with me either in, in the jungle area when I first went there. And that's why I went exploring and ended up finding this this beautiful, beautiful plains area. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to take care of uh, sleep first before we take off elsewhere. Now, building this mine was really, really important to me because I'm going to be spending a lot of time there, obviously, to gather resources because I don't have a whole lot. The resources that I did end up gathering were used largely for either my, my starter home but after that, I've built that fountain and now the town hall. I've been using my own personal m materials. And of course, others have contributed too, which is awesome. Big shout out to Lambert, especially, for bringing all the materials that he did. So uh, we're going to be using the mine quite a bit. But here's where it is. And in my opinion, it looks quite amazing. This is the entrance to it. Now, prior to this, this was just a... a uh, a dirt hill. There was there was a small little hole kind of going into the, the mountainside there, or the hillside, I should say. But everything here has been custom made. 
and what I'll likely do, excuse me, what I'll likely do is probably build some sort of a, a bridge from that side to here eventually. But I really, really like this organic look to the, the cave itself. And this is just the entrance. The actual cave obviously is downstairs and I will show you it's following a similar kind of uh, design that I do in my single player, player world. In fact, every single time I play Minecraft, when I, when I do mining, I use the exact same design because of its scalability. It's beautiful. Uh, but downstairs in the mine itself, I also have some plans to be able to decorate that. And maybe we can do some of that maybe in the next episode. I'm not sure how we're going to plan this one. This is more or less a tour. Uh, and showing of the mine. But uh, I will show you a bit of a time lapse. Now, if I have it ready, I, I haven't confirmed because I haven't worked on it yet, but if the time lapse is ready, it's going to be here now. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse if I had it. And if not, then, well, <laughs> welcome to my mind. Unfortunately, I've had a lot of problems starting this year, or this season. And that's one of the main problems, too, is keep calling it a year. It's the same year, Jade. It's 2020. All right, so we're going to venture into the new mine to go check it out. And I've got all sorts of different blocks here. I've tried to really focus on texture. And I believe, at least I'm, I'm really liking how it looks. It, it just it just looks really stunning and really, really beautiful. And as you get further into the mine, it kind of goes down. And it doesn't go down straight. It goes down into an angle. And then finally, this is where the dec decorating actually stops in this little area here. So that's kind of the next step for me, is that how to continue here. And do I want to keep it only too wide or do I want to make it wider still? We'll see. We'll see. Not too, too... No, I don't really care too much about that at this point. Can't spend the whole time just building. i got to go and get some resources as well. All right. So as we go down stairs, it's following exactly the same kind of design as I've done before. So we have a design that goes in all directions. North, east, south, and west. Each wing is expandable. Each wing continues to go further down keeps going further down, keeps going further down, and then another wing that goes further down. So you keep going further down each of those wings, you continue to have branches that never inter, um, intersect with each other. So you have constantly new resources that you're able to keep mining towards if you keep expanding, for example, in that direction. Same thing if you want to try a different direction, and keep expanding here and you've got endless amount of different uh, mines mining strip strips to be able to work with i have found this to be the best design ever in mining i know a lot of other people just do plain and simple strip mines they just keep going down 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 one direction and once they're sick of that direction they'll go that direction all the way back but it's essentially one big long huge strip mine and i guess that's okay go for it i don't care um but this for me is something that I really like because I like the design, I like the feel of, of being a part of, of an actual mining system, not just a big long uh, hallway of, of strip mines. Of course, these each become long hallways of strip mines, but it's part of a centralized system where you get to choose which direction you want to go. And this is something that I really like. 
So this has been dug out already quite a lot. Um, but I think I'm going to be doing a little bit more so that I can uh, bring in some decor decorative blocks as well. We're not wanting to keep it all all uh, kind of natural, yucky with the diorite and little bits of cobble and um, granite and so on. We want to make this look nice too. So we're going to be spending a fair bit of time down here. And because we are on uh, level 11, there are going to be some really nice resources in this area. So the one thing that I do typically when I make this kind of a design, very similar to what I've said in the, uh, in the single player episode that never has become yet, is that I usually have a station here, a working station. So you have your crafting bench, you have your a bunch of furnaces here, and a whole bunch of uh, uh, chests. And they become full very quickly with all sorts of materials. Usually redstone and, and obviously cobble and that kind of stuff. Unless you have silk touch and then you've got a lot of stone. But this is a really nice working area here to work with your materials as you continue to work down here and mine. And of course, it's usually self-sustainable because there's so much coal down here as well, uh, or whatever build, uh, burning material you use. Welcome back, sir. Uh, whatever material you use, you can self-sustain uh, all of the fuel that you need here. So this is really nice. I love this design. This is, this is uh, very enticing to me to get started with mining, and I'm very tempted to do so, but I certainly won't on camera. <laughs> I'll save the time. But anyway, so this is my mine, and I think that we'll explore that in a future episode. Oh, he left again. Was it something I said? No. <laughs> just joking, just joking. Okay, but this is something that I'm just really, really proud of. This is a very good start to the initial build. And when I look at this, going back to the whole building style thing, knowing how much planes are actually here, how, how, how vast the planes areas are here, looking at this mine, it, it kind of is, it kind of is begging if we want to stick to a specific style. It's kind of begging the whole medieval, um, the whole medieval era kind of stuff. Um, but I, I really don't know, man. And those of you that are watching, man, I'd really, really appreciate some comments because I, I have never struggled as much as I have in this season ever in Minecraft to figure out what style I want to build with because in this, th the whole reason I've come to the Evergreen server is because I really wanted to invest my time properly into a very large project of builds. And I want to pay very close attention to detail in what I do, both in the terrain and the actual builds themselves. And I hope that this is coming out already in the details of my starter home as well, even though it's small. And of course, this mine, all the details. So this is really inspiring to me. I love coming here because it, it makes me, it reminds me a person who typically hasn't had the greatest of, uh, let's say, self-esteem in terms of building in Minecraft. It has convinced me that, hey, you actually can do this. You actually can build something really nice, too. See, all along in my Minecraft career, if you want to call it that, I, I have uh, always built functional builds. But functional typically ends up meaning also semi-ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and that has been the case for me. And this season, I really want to get out of that mold. I want to get out of that way of thinking that you only belong in the functional builds. I want to be able to call myself a creator too. And I know I can do that and I have been able to do that. This is a reminder for me that I actually can build something really cool looking too. All I have to say is, is I'm putting a lot of extra pressure on myself when I don't need it. And I shouldn't. The whole idea is to be able to enjoy, to be able to build, to be able to have a good time in doing whatever you do in Minecraft. But I need some help. I need some opinions. I'd really value your opinion. What kind of style should I build? What kind of... What kind of... Uh, what kind of style should I build? 
This is just, it's so beautiful to hear. There's so much potential, no matter what the style would be, whether it's modern, whether it's medieval, whether it's something completely different. I have some thoughts, some ideas, but nothing yet has, let's say, stuck out and said that, hey, definitely that one. At least so far. At the time of this recording, it has not been that. So I'd really value your opinions, your comments, your thoughts on the stuff that I have already built, the starter home, the spawn, everything that you'd like to see. Uh, uh, what do you like about the video in general? I'd love to be able to develop these further to be more entertaining, obviously, for you. So I think we're going to call it quits here for today. This was a little bit of a beginning tour of our spawn area of the server itself without getting into other people's uh, other people's buildings. We don't want to do that. But what I did want to do is to be able to show you around, show you some of the things that I have been built, working on myself, and also this new beautiful area called home. So I want to thank you so much for joining today. I'm super, super happy that uh, you have found your way here. Oops, maybe you should look in front of me. There we go. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting this channel. I am super, super stoked about it. I also want to give a shout out to It's Lit over, <laughs> over at the Evergreen server. Absolutely love what he's uh, he started already here and the whole community as a whole, everybody. There's so many names uh, already. I probably would miss somebody, so I don't want to do that. But a big shout out to the whole community. We're having a huge uh, blast here on the Evergreen SMP server. And uh, I think that we're going to just call it here. And I think I'm going to start getting some resources for our whatever build will be. Thank you so much for joining, everybody. Have a fantastic day and take care. Bye.